a kiss on the hand may be quite continental, but diamonds are a girl's best friend. When it comes to diamonds, one name in Hollywood shines brightest. Harry Winston. Known as jeweler to the stars, the 81-year-old diamond company has outfitted celebrities off and on screen. Well, I'd like you to wear these. They're rented for the occasion. Like Ingrid Bergman. Would you help me, please? I think what? I can. Why, yes, certainly. Even Marilyn Monroe couldn't help but sing about it. Talk to me, Harry Winston. Tell me all about it. So are you a Harry Winston fan? We are a big Harry Winston fan at Marie Claire. Yes. Nina Garcia is creative director of Marie Claire magazine and a judge on the hit reality show Project Runway. They are the jeweler of jewels, really. It's another world. To enter into the Harry Winston world is to be in a dream. It's a stuff of legends. And so, for every Oscar night, Harry Winston loans out some of its finest pieces to nominees, presenters, and Hollywood legends. This is our main salon space for clients. Spokeswoman Meredith Keller and her team help celebrities pick out that perfect item, like this bracelet with 400 diamonds. This is our red carpet mm. bracelet. <laughs> Very fitting for someone to wear on an Oscar night. And have you had this one worn before? Uh, it has been worn on the red carpet uh, at the Golden Globes. It was recently worn by Jessica Chastain. Nice. A similar style has been worn by Halle Berry at the Golden Globes in previous years. So perhaps it will get its Oscar debut. And a piece like this will cost about how much? This is uh, a little over half a million dollars. Oh my goodness. Big ticket items like the bracelet and this nine and a half million dollar diamond and tourmaline necklace come with their own security detail. Do you think that a star on the red carpet wearing a specific piece of jewelry can drive sales for them? Listen, the red carpet is the biggest carpet in the world. <laughs> it's a gold mine. It is a gold mine. What, what goes on that day sets the precedent for many sales around the world. After the show, the jewels go back to Harry Winston. But in 1994, Sharon Stone claimed the diamond necklace she wore while promoting a film was actually a gift from the jeweler. The dispute was settled out of court. Harry Winston got the necklace back. Harry Winston, the man, was the son of a California jewelry store owner. He had a keen eye that helped him acquire some of the world's most famous diamonds, like the Yonker and the Star of the East. By the time he died in 1978, he was known as the King of Diamonds and for bringing glamour to the red carpet. It was Harry Winston in 1944 who became the very first to loan out pieces uh, for an actress to wear. And that was for? That was for Jennifer Jones, who went on that night to win the Best Actress Oscar. And so a tradition and the nickname for Winston of Jeweler to the Stars was really born that night. And at the 1970 Oscars, Elizabeth Taylor wore one of Winston's most famous creations, a 69-carat diamond necklace, a gift from husband Richard Burton. Then, in 1998, Gloria Stewart donned a deep blue diamond pendant inspired by the Cour de la Mer from the film Titanic. It was all based upon another jewel that Harry Winston once owned, the Hope Diamond. He donated it to the Smithsonian Institution in 1958, sending it in the mail. As for who we'll see tonight on the red carpet glittering at Harry Winston, that's a secret. But what we do know is that rocks like these can make anyone feel like a star. So you offered, <laughs> and I accept gladly. I'd love to put the cluster earrings on. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I can see why if someone just put these on, they would just say, that's it, I'm done. I don't need anything else. I'm not even going to wear a dress. 
if you're at the Oscars and you're on the red carpet and you're wearing Harry Winston, what does that mean? You are amongst a group of elite Hollywood actresses that have worn Harry Winston. You have reached the creme de la creme. It doesn't get any better than that. You have arrived. You have arrived. Best friend.